Okay, so I've had an interesting string of events. First things first. I finally figured out mine and Taylor's group band thing, whatever you can call it. The name for it. And the name is to truly exist. And it sounds kind of stupid without knowing the meaning. But if anybody <laughs> watching this has ever seen a Black Veil Brides interview, um, and one of the questions that people often ask are, <clears throat> Andy, where did the name for Black Veil Brides come from? And he'll explain, like, this, like, really interesting meaning that I found, like, really cool, because I wouldn't have thought of it. Anyway. Um... But yeah, so our band name is called To Truly Exist. And To Truly Exist came from, um, for the past few years since I have started dressing how I wanted to dress, had my hair how I wanted to have it, listened to the music I wanted to listen to, and since I've been more open about it, because I don't really care, um, I have been judged quite a bit for it and bullied. And... It really made me realize that I don't really want to fit into society, that I really want to be my own person and to truly exist as one and as myself because no one else can be exactly like me. I'm sure there are people that look like me. Um, I'm sure there are people that have their hair cut like me and that dress like me, but there is no person on this planet who thinks exactly like me, who listens to the exact same things that I listen to because I listen to a variety of different things. Actually, that's possible, but you know, whatever. Nobody else thinks like exactly like me. Nobody else is me. And nobody else is you. Nobody else is the person sitting next to you or near you. Everybody else, everybody is one person. Unless you're like, joined at the brain. No. Um. <laughs> so, to truly exist, um, over the past few years, I don't know if anybody remembers, but they had those silly band things, and everybody wanted these because everybody had them, and they were the stupidest things. They were like bracelets, like rubber bands that were shaped like dogs and hearts and cats and stuff like that and food, and everybody wanted them. And I don't know why it started, but they were like the stupidest things ever. And if they weren't popular and I saw them in a store, no, I would never have bought them in a kajillion years. I don't think I would live that long, so maybe like in a long time. I would not have bought them. That's my point. And then they had those like Japanese erasers things. And what they were is like, they were like erasers, but they were like shaped like animals and food and stuff. And you could like take them apart and put them back together. And I will never forget the time that everybody found it absurd that I used them to erase things. Really? Like everybody found it absurd that I was using these erasers to erase. What else was I supposed to do with them? Eat them? No. They were erasers. For a reason. And my point is, everybody wanted them because everybody wanted to fit in and be popular and have the latest thing. And I realized that that was really stupid and I didn't need to do that. And I could be my own person, so to truly exist as myself, and to just be me, and that's where the name came from, so that was my meeting. Also, I got my hair cut by salon, and I really don't like it, but it's out of my eyes, out of, kind of, well, yeah. um, she cut it too short? You know, whatever. I don't know. It's hair. It'll grow. Um, 
I usually don't get my hair cut at salons for that reason because I don't really trust them. But, I mean, whatever. <sighs> There's some, like, tattoo show on TV. Um, Taylor is performing a solo performance at Ben and Ari's this Saturday, and I'm so excited for her. She's a 30-minute set, and I'm so sad that I can't be there with her. Because I'm kind of across the country from her, but, I mean, whatever. Uh, I think also Infamous um, or Nothing in the Sound might be for performing too, and they're like local bands. Uh, so yeah. Go. If you live in the Fishers, Noblesville, Indiana area. Um, yeah.